We're headed outside today with lots of outdoor projects on our to-do list as well as a DIY project and I'm even going to share a grocery haul with you. So if you're looking for some motivation to get yourself outside and get that to-do list done then stay tuned. I've got you covered. It is time to get our flowers in, so this is my episode of Mr. Maynard Gardens. There's Mr. Maynard now in his unnatural habitat. <laughs> we were going to get two huge pots of geraniums, but they were like $40 each. But we were able to get these geraniums and then all of this for just over $40. So we saved a ton of money. Then I have some marigolds and over here too, and there's some random geraniums too. Um, I have some marigolds to keep the deer off of my hostas because deer tend not to like marigolds. I knew that I had these pots from last year. So we're going to empty them, put in some newer soil and use those. And that also, of course, saved money. Okay, so the marigolds, the yellow and the orange, as much as you can, I spread them or put them across because their job is to keep the deer off the hostas. And then the two buckets are for these geraniums. Mm -hmm. Then do we have one that's smaller than those out over there? Do we have one, one pot? pot? Yeah. So a smaller pot, I would like for these three. We put the hummingbird feeder right here with the hummingbirds, like the geraniums. And then this stuff, like I would put do you put, you're talking about putting geraniums in a pot on the ground over there? Yeah. And then these, these cosmos, mm -hmm. like if I had a pot or two smaller pots, I don't know, for the back deck, the cosmos. You want those on the back deck? Yeah. The cosmos would go in the middle and those would go around, around them. Then, as far as the tomatoes and the lettuce, I, I'm not necessarily. I mean, I don't have to they plant have to the lettuce. They at least be right. You could plant the tomato. I'm gonna have to get some marigolds for it because the marigolds keep the tomato worms off the tomatoes. Okay, that would go in a pot. You want the tomatoes in a pot, and the lettuce you don't. However you want it. Okay, so I'm going to the grocery store to pick up our order. You're planting. Yes, I'll be planting. And you're going to stay in the camera shot. I will do my best. Who would have thought that there was a time when I didn't think I would ever get him on film in a video? Not only is he in a video, but he is over there filming on his own. I'm not even home right now, so that's pretty amazing to me. But aren't these geraniums just luscious? But I have to tell you a story. A couple days after this was filmed, I walked outside and to my horror, all of those beautiful red blooms were gone because a deer had visited us and eaten every single one. And I don't know why, but it just didn't occur to me. I've never had deer eat my geraniums before, but for some deer, they were a very, very tasty treat. Thankfully, I trimmed all the stems and, you know, new blooms are coming because they're annual. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I have noticed I've been to a couple offices where they have geraniums inside. It didn't ever occur to me to put geraniums inside. So I'm hoping to get a plant pretty soon that I can test inside and see if it does all right. Because as you know, I am starting to delve into taking care of plants inside my house. That's just a whole new world to me. At least outside they have half a chance because the rain rains and the sun shines and they have half a chance to get the nutrients that they need to stay alive. But I am trying a new thing by trying to actually keep them alive inside. <laughs> Thank you. 
You see that blue Rubbermaid bucket that Robin is working out of. We do keep potting soil in there. If we have a bag of soil, we might dump it in there. Or if there's some good soil around the house, we'll put it in there. And that's kind of where we recycle soil. So he keeps it tucked underneath the house. At the back of the house, there is a spot that isn't surrounded with the cement foundation isn't part of the basement and so he just slides it underneath the house and then whenever we need it we can just slide it right back out again back when my husband was in college he did work for a landscaper for a time during the summertime he was up here in maine to go to college being originally from pennsylvania and he worked as a landscaper he worked as a carpenter he also framed artwork he did oh and he worked in a grocery store he did lots of different things to get himself through college so the beauty of that is he has a lot of skills that we are able to use around the house whenever he has time Now with everything potted, he's just going along the front and planting marigolds that I had bought. And I should have bought more, I didn't buy enough. They can be a deer deterrent, but I think you need a lot more than what I got this year because the deer also ate those beautiful green leaves off my hostas the same day that they ate my geraniums. Oh my goodness. So that was a little bit of a devastation because the past couple of years I haven't really had trouble, although we almost daily see deer in our yard, oftentimes with babies, which is just so sweet to watch. But honestly, between them eating everything and my worry about deer ticks, as we have lots of ticks in the state of Maine, I do sometimes struggle with having them in the yard. I have the grocery order and I'm going to show it to you. It is $238, which I like to tell you just so you can see what things are costing in my area. We have two, two things of almond milk, a dozen eggs, leaping lemur gluten-free dairy-free cereal. These are gluten-free dairy-free as well. We got two of these and garlic, minced garlic. I end up getting the bigger one because we go through them so quickly two cooked chickens which one will be for supper tonight and one is to keep through the week bok choy two green peppers baby spinach carrots cucumbers european cucumbers and then cherry tomatoes four avocados that are nowhere near ready cranberry juice for my daughter ava's lunches at school also these DiGiorno personal pizzas are also for her school lunches. Jasmine rice, which is our favorite rice. That's what we eat all the time. Some shrimp for one of my suppers. Of course, toilet paper, paper towels, cat. <laughs> he just wants to be part of it. I got diced tomatoes and some black beans, some of the Ready Whip with zero sugar. We'll see how that is. Bay leaves, which we're out of. Dill pickles. Hamburger, which will be for chili. Dairy-free chocolate chips. Bananas. Some bite-sized Tostitos. Tea, chamomile and lavender, as well as peppermint. K-Cups, decaf, and my buttery caramel. And then some quick oats. Go-Go Squeeze. 
These we have been eating, well not me, but the kids have really been loving these goldfish s'mores laundry detergent. And that is it. Back outside, Mr. Maynard is planting a lily plant that I actually got last year and never got in the ground and it survived. So now we're getting it into the ground. And once he planted that, I realized I need to get one more for the back left corner. And you can see our Christmas lights still there on the fence, but he has since removed those as well. And then once he's done with the lily, he's moving on to get the last of the marigolds across the front of the right hand side of my gardens. Luckily this was a really beautiful day. It wasn't hot at all. And so now that he has that done, he can just plant my tomato plants in this bucket. And that was also something the deer took a nibble on. So you'll see my little solution here in just a few minutes. And now we're gonna go to day two and I am getting my deck stained. I'm gonna stain the deck. Have I ever stained a deck before? No, do I know what I'm doing? No, is it gonna be perfect? No, <laughs> but I wanna cover it because we get so much sun out here and then I want to buy some cheap outdoor rugs to put on it so I'm going to get it swept and then I have a long pole so that I can stain it without bending or whatever and then we'll just see what happens. As you can see our deck is in desperate need of stain and it has been a couple of years we intended to do it last year and we didn't get to it. We probably have three or four hours of direct sun that really beats down from the south onto this deck. And my husband is doing a little bit of sanding because we actually had pitch from the wood rise up out of the wood in that spot. And so it is a goopy, sticky mess right there. So he's just sanding down what he can. And he noticed that the sander, because the vibration heats things up, it was heating up the pitch and making it sticky again. But you know, you just do your best with what you got. And I'm attaching this wooden, it was like a mop handle that we're using for our um, roller. And I use it for a little bit of time and honestly I edited some of it out but it wasn't staying in the roller real good. It kept falling out and later on my husband is actually going to go and get me a plastic handle and that one stayed much better because it wasn't as stripped as the first one. I'm using a dark almond stain and it said that it had stain and sealer in it as well but we might go back in fact we probably will go back and seal it again it's pretty hot out right now but when it cools down again you can see how I have that black stain that's because we were did have our grill over in that area and that was a stain caused by something to do with the grill and my husband had done some sanding, some of it came off, some of it did not. Yep, there goes that handle. So that's gonna happen about another, I don't know, seven or eight times before I finally ask if we have a different one that I could be using. And I'm going back and forth here, getting more stain on my roller, but it really was a blessing to have this long pole. Oh, see how that black stain is just covered right up. It was a blessing to have a, a long pole because you know, I am not gonna be bending over to paint that whole thing or to stain that whole thing with a brush. Beyond the deck, you can see to my right there, there is an old grill that needs to be brought to the dump that we had to stop using that because it is no longer safe. And then our kayaks are there. And then you might've noticed a little bit back in about a minute, in this video, you had seen something covered with a blue tarp. That is an old riding lawnmower that someone had given to Francois. 
and that's not really running anymore, but I need to talk to him. I was thinking about giving it back to the person who gave it to us because they gave it to him to be a blessing so that he could learn to work on engines and he had fun riding it around on the yard, but where he's in college, I don't really think he's gonna be using that anymore now that he has a car. He has much more fun driving that around than he would that riding lawnmower that actually doesn't have a blade on it. So I thought maybe that person would know of another young man who might also enjoy working on engines and might have fun tinkering with that and seeing what he can do driving it around his own yard. And I also want to get that whole area of our yard decluttered and nice and neat so that it looks pretty now below me to my left on the ground you can see that wood and then the potted plant that goes on the deck that is a raised garden that we had original to the house so we did not put that in and it is really broken up it was using like railroad ties as borders and my husband doesn't really want to repair it so we really want to take that out and that has not been done yet oh boy I don't even know how that's going to get done all that soil will need to be moved and that's kind of probably the work part of it I might keep a small area I do have rhubarb on the side behind me and so I'm going to keep a small box from that raised bed and the rest of it is going to end up moving out and then of course we need railings on the deck um, we had taken down the railings they were really old and dilapidated and we need to get new railings i'm really hoping that they're not going to be wood because i hate getting splinters on railings so i would really like to have railings so that the kids can come play out here when they're up visiting and you know it's just best to have railings on your deck <laughs> My office overlooks the deck and so I love in the morning when I come out and the flower pots are up there on the deck. Sometimes I'll turn on the lights and I can hear birds. I always open up one of the glass sliders so that I can hear the birds in the morning and it's just the best way to wake up. And I am just so excited that it's all stained now and the better it looks, of course, the better my view in the morning, which might be part of my motivation for getting it done. So there's the first coat and then that area here my husband will come through with a brush and get close to the house for me I just figure as much as I can do I'm gonna do so I can't do it all but I can do what I can do I have a few new plants I want to get potted isn't this so beautiful it is called Bella Maria fuchsia and it says part shade, which is really easy to do where I live. <laughs> and then marigolds that will keep tomato worms off these tomato plants. And then I also got a basil plant. Behind this innocent fence is a huge nasty mess. So this is a goal here that you're gonna see soon. <laughs> but for now, what I will tell you is I'm planning to use these pots for the plants I just showed you. Kind of wishing I had put my hair up, not gonna lie, but I have my pot, this big one for the tomatoes, this little one. Oh, I gotta bring out all the plants for my little baby that's so pretty. And then this one for the basil, which is right there. So I'm gonna go get the rest of the plants. I'll be right back. I have this that's full of potting soil, or at least half full, so any extra soil I'll put in there, or if I need some, I'll take it out. And then I'll do all the watering at once. We went to the most beautiful greenhouse to get this. And they had this cute little dog that was following us around. It was so much fun. This will have to go somewhere else. Can't go on the deck because this is like full sun. So it'll probably go in the front of the house. We'll just put her aside. Next is the basil. Let me know what you are growing in the comments. We have a lot of acid with pine trees and such, so it's always moss. 
try to be growing strawberries. My daughter Ava, my youngest, absolutely loves having a basil plant that she can just clip off of whenever she's making pizza or anything really. She puts basil in quite a few things. So I was really thinking of her when I got this plant and it's right down the steps outside the door so she can be walking out there and getting basil whenever she wants to. I had a basil plant inside and it was quite small. So this one is bigger and it will live outside at least for now. And then perhaps when fall comes or fall and winter, then I will get a a plant or bring this plant inside tell me do you ever bring plants from outside to inside I'm usually worried that I'm gonna end up bringing some bugs in so give me your wisdom on that with my basil all done I'm getting some tomato plants I'm doing two tomato plants in this one bucket these will be regular sized tomatoes whereas my other pot of tomatoes is cherry tomatoes these are gonna go great you know how I know I have a green thumb. <laughs> I know, I know, that was a lame joke. <laughs> now I'm getting my marigolds put in there to keep the tomato worms off those tomato plants. And trust me, it works. Get yourself some marigolds. This one was in the front yard. And can you see all that? That is what deer did. They came and they ate off every tomato. So it has graduated to the back of the house. Very unfortunate, but fortunately, we're getting some new tomatoes and these are just cherry tomatoes, so they're not gonna need to get very big at all. So I am gonna plant marigolds. Other years, the marigolds have stopped the deer. This was not one of those years, but I have done a lot of experimenting over the years with tomato worms and trust me they did not ever get on my I did one year where I had uh, one pot that had tomato in it with marigold one without the one without the marigold was up here on the deck the one with the marigold was on the ground so the one with the marigold on the ground got zero tomato worms the one without the marigold, even though it was up on my deck, it was covered in, in tomato worms. So ever since then, I make sure that I plant marigolds with my tomatoes. It really worked out great to be planting on the deck like this because then I could stand up and do my planting without bending over. I would really love to get those raised beds that you can stand up to so that I could have more vegetables, but this deck works pretty well. So maybe I will increase the amount of vegetables that we start growing here on the deck. And you can see that mess behind me. It's driving me crazy and how bad that raised bed looks. But you know what? It's going to happen eventually, but this is my real life here. <laughs> now we have those couple of plants that will go up front and then these back plants, I'm getting them all watered and ready to go. And then I'm going to clean up the deck area and sweep it down again. And it's just so great to see that stain there on the deck as I am sweeping. My husband has pointed out to me and he's absolutely right. I have a hard time just enjoying the progress that I made because I always see so much more that needs to be done. So if you're like me, try to take a moment and just revel in whatever you were able to get done today and be thankful for that and try not to get discouraged about what you see ahead of you. And I hope you always remember that God loves you and I love you too and I can't wait to see you next time.